That is my toy. Give it back, Maya cries. But I had it first, argues Daniel. It was early in the morning, but already Maya and Daniel were arguing over everything. Their poor mother had had enough. Maya, Daniel, please stop your fighting. I cannot concentrate with you both making so much noise. She glanced out the window. It is such a beautiful day. Why don't you take a walk? She suggested, adding, "Don't come back till you can be sweet to each other." Unable to shake off their bad moods right away, Daniel and Maya wore matching scowls on their faces as they stepped out onto the porch. It was a beautiful day, though, and it wasn't long before their fight was all but forgotten. Their walk took them through a field of dandelions, all swaying with the breeze. Delighted, Daniel called to his sister, "So many dandelions! Come, Maya, let's pick some and make a wish before we blow the seeds away." How lovely! I wonder what we should wish for," Maya mused. Daniel looked around, thoughtfully tapping his index finger against his lips as he searched for the perfect wish. "I know," he said brightly. "Let's wish to be powerful and important like the mayor," he said, pointing towards the election rally. "Then we can be in charge and tell everyone what to do." Maya studied the red-faced mayor as he engaged in a heated political debate. "I don't know," she said, unconvinced. "He doesn't look very happy to me." Daniel sighed. "Yeah, I guess not. What would you wish for?" "Ooh, I know. I wish I could have lots of money to buy pretty things." Daniel was thinking this over when he heard a noise coming from across the street. They both looked over to see Sally throwing a tantrum. As usual, her mother was trying desperately to calm her. But darling, I already bought you three dresses. I don't care. I want that one. Sally has so many pretty clothes and toys. And she is never satisfied. If things could make people happy, she should be the happiest child in the village instead of the crankiest. I don't think wishing for money will make us any happier. Hmm. Maya agreed as she regarded Sally thoughtfully. Just then, a gust of wind swept past the children, taking with it a few of the dandelion seeds. All thoughts vanished as Maya and Daniel watched in fascination. They began completely silent inside as they observed the beautiful seeds swirling around them. As though connected, they looked at each other and nodded their heads in an unspoken agreement. Together, they closed their eyes, took a deep breath, and blew their dandelions. The seeds took flight like small parachutes, scattering in all directions as they made their heartfelt wish. I wish I could be smaller, like a dust particle which moves with the wind. It goes everywhere. It can go sit on the head of a king. Or it can go and fall at the feet of someone. And it can go and sit everywhere. But I want to be a particle of dust that is fragrant. That is nourishing. That is enlightening.